Right, I thought I'd make a, a little envelope insert from that one that was that I had to cut off, remember, that I, I stood on. So all you do for this is you glue this bit here. And this goes inside. Right, I don't need it as much as that, but that's okay. You can cut that down a bit if you prefer, just in case whatever you put in the insert catches. But this will go inside that. Yeah, it has to go right the way down to the crease. And you have to be quite quick. So, get in. <laughs> Says me. because I'm going to cover that bit there so that's all right but because I actually got that as well all right so you can see that you do need to reinforce these things either with washi tape or a bit of I'm using this because I think that'll look nice and I'm going to fray all the edges yeah so this is going to go on there and that's actually going to be sewn in to the journal along that bit there so I'm gonna glue that down now and fray it all that doesn't matter if it isn't because you're not going to really see it you're only going to see this bit here Okay, which is wonky anyway, but time I fray it and everything. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a stitch, because I'm fraying, I'm not going to worry about too much glue, I'm going to put a stitch down there and a stitch that side. Okay, and then I'm going to fray it to the stitching. So, I'll cut them off as well. fun fraying it now <laughs> do it with your pokey, pokey tool actually is quite good so if it doesn't, don't pull it. If you, you see where that goes there, don't pull that. You can cut that the same length as there to make it look correct. All right, so let's get all those out. Like that. It does need a bit of a trim, doesn't it? it wasn't straight so okay What's that one
go. And there's your little raggedy spine. All right. All right. These bits I sometimes put together a knot. Okay. And surprising, they do come in handy. And then, just, okay, and then you've just got it, you have got a little embellishment there, okay. There's a nice little bit of jute there. And if you're not a Bowie person, they look, they can look quite good. Yeah, put that in my little scrap box. Okay, so that's be sewn in down there and then it's reinforced now so that's fine okay I thought I was going to do some vellum let's do this bit first I love this so I didn't want to lose that so that will sit under there like that and that one in there like so I jump when I get a text message. <laughs> it's, it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe should have stuck this down first. <laughs> I'm not worried about that because I'm stitching around mine. I'm just gluing down this bit here. This is not vellum actually, it's tracing paper, so. It comes over the edge of it and just cut that off. another reason why I put this on okay because this was a little bit short and he had this little bit out and and it was a little bit short in here but you wouldn't know now yeah all right and I can stitch around the outside of mine all right because that's not going to interfere with the pocket Okay, that's all done so decorate that I think I'm going to do them similar actually because I've cut these out this is just scrap bits of paper that's been stuck together I do like strips of I don't know, odd bits it's a bit like collage but only thinly thin layers and sometimes I'll just peel them off and see what it reveals yeah I quite like doing that it just gives me some even different paper so I've cut a bit of that off and I thought I'd use these um, and the same that way. So it sort will of do almost opposite, but you're not going to see it anyway because it's the other way. A um, little bit of this. Yeah, so I'll get on and do that because I've already made my mind up what I'm doing. I think I have the raggedy bit down there. And so be careful with um, gluing vellum. So you don't see through it so, so try and imagine where that is yeah and then that will hide any glue like that.
No, it's better the other way. Sorry. That's not right. That's got to go that way. It's this one here. One way around. Oh, so a bit. Just come up a bit because I've got covered that bit of glue. Okay, and that bit's all right, so I'll rub off. And I'm going to put that down there. I think it was going to be a bit different to that, but never mind. You've got to learn to improvise. Fancy, just the top of a leaf sticking out, actually. It's A bit Tim Holtz there, I think. <laughs> I'm going to put that that way, I think. But again, it's not seen together like that, so there we go. Okay, tags. Right, what's going to do here is these. All right, they're going to go in there, which are like that. Okay, and these need backing and everything, but put them in, in there as well because I think they look quite good. Yeah. Actually, let's, let's see the butterfly. It's going to go that way. Like that. So I'll do them off camera. Okay. It's only a matter of backing them and then putting some stuff on. And here, what did I find in the kit? Right. I've got two envelopes of traces, which are great. And then I've got these, yeah, which need inking up and everything, as they can go in here. I think they should fit in, perhaps not. I might have to cut them down a bit. And yeah, I'm going to have to cut them down a little bit, just so that they fit in better. Okay, so they will go in there, and then I thought these might look quite nice over the top, like that. Or the other way around, that looks better. So they're going to go like that. Yep, so I'm going to just trim these down a little bit, make sure they fit in, and ink them up and everything. Okay, put my little envelopes together properly, and then I'll come back. Okay. Okay, I've um, sewn around the tags and inked everything up. Okay, so that's the little flip. And then here I thought I'd do a bit of stamping. So I'll just a bit of paper a minute. Okay, just put that 
over there because I've already put those in. I didn't actually cut them down. What it was, it was catching just a little bit on that stitching, all right, and it was stopping it going in. Once that was done, I'm going to say I thought that it was all right because I was, take, you know, quite taken back when they fitted in. I thought, oh, that's unusual. You usually got to cut them down or something. Oh, I don't want that one. Reverse are fine, I think. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna do the same here ish. Like that. That's fine. Maybe ink up around here, just a bit. Shouldn't do it with that card in, but <laughs> I'm gonna show you that they do come out just in case you think they don't. <laughs> yeah, just gotta make sure you slip under there, you see. And then I thought that envelope, actually, I'm just going to just do a bit of that around there. Like that. And then these can either go, say, that way. Yeah, which I'll show you what I actually quite like. And then you can have a little thing in there. Okay, it can go like that. Yeah, or I quite liked it. The envelope inside the pocket, that coming out there. Like that, yeah. Then... Maybe a journaling card. Could do with just a little bit bigger, but that's all right. Again, oh, they fit in there. That's great. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> These have been shrunk down, so. Like that. And that can go there. And then, little Tim Holtz thing there to keep that in. Just there, nice and tiny, like that. Okay, and that's ready to go in the journal now. Look. Okay, where is we going to put it though? Um, that one's quite full. Uh, I think I've got a. No, it was that one. I've got a little. Um, there we go. One of them there, so I wouldn't forget where it went. <laughs> So quite close to the, the centre you need those, all right? Or else they've got too far to go. Yeah. Just turn that sewn in, that's fine. Yeah. That's way out at the moment. Once that's stitched in, okay, that'll be fine. Okay, and now we'll look <clears throat> just like that. Yeah. And then on the other side as well. Yeah. So I want that in the middle. I think that looks nice in the middle. So, yeah, I like that. Put that more in the middle. Okay. Yes. Getting full now. And that one's quite full already, so yeah. Oh, sewing it, in. I can't wait to sew it in now. I think we're not almost finished because I think whatever I do now, I can um, do once it's sewn in. Because I've got, I've got one of these, which I thought would be nice. 
in there with a bit of colour on it. Yeah. So, right, we'll get on with it then. Okay, I'll be I'll see you in a minute. I'm just gonna go and have some lunch and then I'll do another video. Okay, bye. Right, very sorry this is a quite a quickie today. Only that I had um, a new printer delivered and I had to get on with it and sort it out because um, I really miss my laser. So I've done all that and I was going to show you, because I've taken this signature out, yeah, which I'm going to make another journal with that, so that's no problem. I didn't know whether there was going to be a bit of a gap in between for like say a small signature or something. So when I actually made this last week over my sister's, but I, I've just finished it basically because I, I didn't do it properly. Um, didn't finish it rather, not <laughs> didn't do it properly. <laughs> so I thought this might, I might sew this into the middle of the signature. Yeah, which I think it may, I may be able to sew it there. Yeah, I'm not sure. But if I don't sew it, then it'll be sort of, with the journal somehow yeah so this is what we were doing last week with tina was with us as well me and my sister because we go every other week to my sisters and we just play around and we've been doing envelopes these are dl envelopes and two pieces of paper so yeah i'm going to show you how to do this one all right and i just thought well it goes lovely i've left this quite long at the moment because i wasn't sure what i'm doing with it but it's, yeah, two envelopes. Is it two or one envelope, I think? Yeah, it's one envelope. And then two pieces of paper. Yeah, so, it, a minute, let's get it right. So it's like that. Yeah, and there's like a tuck spot here, if you wanted. And then that wraps around. And it could go into the journal like that. Or, but, I, if I'm going to stitch it in, I'm going to stitch it down there. When I'd done it, I didn't use Tyvek. And I, oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit tired now. Um, I didn't use Tyvek, so I thought the best thing to do was to put the old linen, linen on because, you know, doing that, you know what it's like. They break down. Um, yeah, I haven't really decorated or anything. I've just sort of put those in, which just folded them back to back and stitched them. So I could do with a bit of decoration there. And then this is just a little journal that's sewn into that back page there. And that's just into bits of paper. And book page there. And just put a few bits together. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't have seen that, so. Yeah, so don't ask me about that. Cause it's <laughs> I was doing something and I've just left it for a minute because I'm onto something else at the moment. So, here we go. That's just all in there. Yeah, so just to... And then got a big pocket there. Tag in another one of those. Just gotta... There we go. There. And then here is that envelope here so you put that in upside down you see that's there all right so it's like that and then because that's upside down I and mean, you can still write all on there it needs backing really it's only on thin paper at the moment yeah and that's that's the actual envelope you see yeah and then, oh, forgot about this pocket. Got another big pocket there. Oh, just took that out. Okay. And we've got another big pocket there. Put something in. Yeah. And then that's the back with some tags there. Yeah, so I hope you like that. It was, we had fun making them. So I shall do a little process video on my next one I'll just put that there for now I haven't cut anything off yet so I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep that key in or what I'm doing so at the moment I'm just leaving it like that yeah 
Oh, and I got to do something for that pocket, and I. Yeah. So sorry, it's a bit short today, but um, I did have to get my printer sorted. So, yeah. And here we go. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.